Hey guys, welcome back to Swatch Fest. It's Saturday, so we're gonna look at 10 random polishes from my stash that I haven't talked about here or on my blog yet. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope we're gonna have a little bit of fun together today. Um, let's see, this week has been crazy. This is my first full week um, of Vlogmas, and it's definitely been fun, but it's definitely added a lot to my plate. An <laughs> already pretty busy plate, but um, we're still, we're having a lot of fun with it. It's a fun experiment, um, but yeah, if you've been following along, I mentioned last Saturday, if you missed that, I started a second channel um, to put vlogs on and to put my music on, so my piano music covers are going to be there, and I'll list that second channel in the description bar if you're interested in going to check that out. I'm going to try to put, um, like each Saturday, I'm going to try to make sure that the covers that are on that video on Saturday's Watch Fest will go up on my channel, and then... Like slowly, I'll just get more and more stuff uploaded um, as far as the music is concerned. So, yep, we've been busy doing Vlogmas. Um, it's kind of interesting carrying the camera around everywhere and then still realizing that I don't actually do that much interesting stuff. So, I've basically just been showing you guys what, you know, daily stuff that we regularly do. And people have parties to go to and lots of fun stuff to do and it's always beautiful out because people are decorating for Christmas there's so many festive people um, around our street like there's lots of great light decorations and then there's our house and we don't decorate because I have never done it like I've never actually gotten up on the ladder and decorated and I get maybe neither has Tim so just in our married life together. We've never actually decorated for Christmas. I remember growing up though, my dad always dreaded it and he was just like, no. So maybe because we didn't decorate very much when I was a kid either, maybe that's why we don't. In my married life, I don't know. Maybe I should go pick up some lights and just go out there with a the staple gun and just get it done. Anyway, I um, <laughs> hope you guys are doing really well. Um, we tend to, it looks, seems like we're kind of coming out of the whole sicky thing. Um, maybe got some residual allergies, but people are feeling okay around here, so that's good. I'm glad for that. And that's enough chitter chatter. We're going to go ahead and get started. So I actually have, let's see, I have some stuff that I didn't really care for that much. But then I have some other stuff that I really, really liked. So maybe we're kind of polarized this week. We'll have to see um, what you think about it. I feel like I don't have enough light in here, but it's because I don't have very much natural light today. It's kind of overcast in Southern California today, um, but it's deceivingly so. Like, I went out in my sweater and stuff, and then it was hot. Honor and I actually went, we ran a bunch of errands. She actually started getting a little bit of her Christmas shopping done, so, um, yeah, I was, like, ripping off my sweater. It was really, it was kind of warm outside. So, anyway, um, let's get started. Okay, guys, so... Um, red today. My red polish is from Orly. This is a polish that I, it's in a formula that I typically don't go for. It's kind of like this, um, well, first off, it's like a warm rose, and it's called Merlot Mist from Orly, but it's got like this pink luster in it, and that's just not just really something that I normally go for, but I think I found this in a bargain bin somewhere, so I picked it up. It is pretty. It's definitely not like my favorite thing ever, but it is pretty. So let's go ahead and see how it swatches. This next polish is one that I really didn't care for. I always I always like it when I have a pink to show you that I really, really liked. Unfortunately, um, I didn't care for this one. This is Sally Hansen um, in this kind of bottle, and it's called VIP Pink. I think this is one of their regular, like in the core. Basically, it's a very, very sheer pink with a lot of sparkle, but um, it probably needs three or more coats to really be doable. I think I only did two in the swatch photo for you. Um, 
Ugh, it just really wasn't my thing. I think pinks like this, my memory card keeps shutting off. It says it has insufficient writing speed on my memory card. I don't know what that's about, but hopefully this footage is actually taking since it shuts off about every minute. Um, I just need to go get a new memory card, but um, anyway, we were talking about pink. Let's go ahead and take a look at it before it shuts off again. Okay, for orange today, here's one that I really, really loved. So, this is from Finger Paints. I was in there um, a few weeks ago, maybe it was last week when I was picking up the Finger Paints, Chris, or like their holiday collection, which you still haven't seen yet because I've had too much stuff to upload. Um, but it's coming. But anyway, they were having a buy two, get two for Finger Paints, and since there are six in that collection, I needed to pick two more Finger Paints polishes and get them for free. So, anyway, I picked up this one and a glitter. This one is called Prince. Prince and Princess. It's really cute. It's like the word print, like your printer. Print and Princess. That's really cute. Anyway, it is a sweet orange with lots of gold shimmer in there. I really love this kind of orange. I think it's a very flattering shade. I mean, I like warm oranges too for their the warm quality, but this I just feel like when I put it on, I end up enjoying it a lot more. Anyway, this is really, really pretty. You could probably do three coats on this if you wanted it to be absolutely no VNL, but I thought it was fine at two. So let's see how it swatches. Okay, for yellow, I have Revlon Snow Bunny. This is that one that I picked up at Rite Aid a while ago when I snatched all four um, yellows for the whole month to swatch for you on Swatch Fest. It's like a very, very light gold. It's like a white out gold. And it's a shimmering, lustery kind of polish. This is another one I didn't actually care for, which is a bummer because I love yellow polish. It's just, it's another one where it was kind of sheer at two coats. And then, um, I don't know, I just didn't say, it's just like, didn't speak to me, you know, what I, you know what I mean? Like, when you really, really love a polish, it's because it does something for you, it speaks to you. So anyway, this was one of the ones that was um, on being clearanced out of the shelves of Revlon polishes at Rite Aid, so maybe that's why, maybe it didn't have a good reception or something. But um, anyway, let's go ahead and take a look. I just realized I'm not wearing any lippy. I have some um, new, well they're not new, these are the Revlon Colorburst Lacquer Bombs I picked up at Walgreens. Um, they're clearancing stuff out too. And um, I picked these up yesterday for just like over two bucks each I think. And I talked about them in my Birch Box review. I did like a little mini haul in that one too. So anyway, I'm gonna put some lipstick on really quick. By the way, the eyes, the eyeshadow I used today is from the artist palette from Makeup Forever and um I'm gonna see if I can put this on without a mirror 
I just look at him in viewfinder. My lips were just feeling kind of dry. So anyway, hope that's not too, too crazy. But this one is Coquette, number 110. And I love that these taste like peppermint. They're not taste, but they smell like peppermint. I like them a lot. And that's a way better price than paying like eight something each for them, right? So anyway, at Walgreens right now, lots of stuff being clearanced. Um, and forget where I was going with that. I was putting on lipstick. Oh yeah, and the eyeshadows were from that artist palette. I used the purple and like that blue and then the champagne uh, silver color. I love that palette and I forgot that I even had it. I hate that when I do that, when I forget about palettes. I forget. I forgot about it because I was using it like exclusively and then I put it away and then that new orange one came out, you know, um, from Makeup Forever and it reminded me that I had that palette and I wanted to use it again. So those colors are super pigmented and like strong kapow pigmentation in there. Okay, so anyway, we got our lippy on. Let's move along. Green is the color. This is the polish I'm wearing on my nails today, not my thumb. That's something different. Um, but this is Illamasqua Milf, and I have to admit, I basically got this color just for the name of the polish because I just couldn't resist. That's too cheeky. Um, but it is like kind of a dusty pistachio, and when you look in the bottle, you see some very, very light green shimmer but it doesn't show up on the nail but I still do really like this this went on so smooth and easily very creamy buttery polish and I've been wearing this for actually a day and a half now and it it was just like nice and glossy on its own with no top coat no chipping no nothing so I like it a lot so anyway let's go ahead and take a look at MILF for this week is from Essie and it's Avenue Maintain. I picked this, um, you know, nice kind of, it's like a sky blue, but it's a little bit darker of a sky blue. This has a gorgeous formula. Another great one from Essie. I did find this at Marshall's and Great Two Coder. So if you like blues, this is a good one to check out. I think Essie's are like $3.99 at Marshall's. So anyway, let's take a look. Okay, next up we're at purple. Um, this one was okay. I had high hopes for this polish. I mean, I, obviously I wasn't that like obsessed with it since I think I picked this up two or three years ago and still had just barely got around to swatching it. Um, this is high res from Milani. It's from the um, 3D holographic line in these older bottles. So I don't know how easy they will be to find anymore. This is kind of like Milani's version of Zoya Aurora, but it's not as good. It's lighter. Um, it's just not like as prominent of the holographic presence. It's okay, but it was kind of sheer, even at two coats. So kind of the story of the day today, huh? Um, so let's see how it swatches.
All right, for neutral, we're looking at OPI, How Great Is Your Dane? This is from the Nordic Collection, which as you know, if you've been with me for a while, I didn't actually pick up that whole collection, so I'm kind of grabbing it piecemeal as I find it. This is the nice deep, um, dusty chocolate that they had in the collection. Gr another great formula here. This is definitely on the side of the winners, so um, I really like this one. Also, I found this at Marshall's, so if you get your buns over there. I did, somebody tag me in an Instagram post. Tag me in your um, Marshall finds. I really like to see when you guys find good stuff there because I Marshall's and TJ Maxx, I really like shopping there for great um, polish finds. Deborah Lippman, OPI, um, they do have Orly there sometimes too, Butter London, Essie, China Glaze, those are good brands to go to find um, really inexpensively and like lots of times they already have their current collections there on sale. So like I saw um, the China Glaze, the Holiday Cheers collection was already there at my Marshalls, just some of them. And then um, the OPI Starlight Collection, they had like six or seven polishes from that collection there already too. So like I've mentioned before, not all of our Marshalls and TJ Maxx are created equal or they're not all, they don't all have the exact same thing, but I did notice um, somebody did tag me on an Instagram picture and say that they were able to find some of the stuff I mentioned in my last video. So yay, tag me when you um, do your little hauls. I really enjoy looking at them. Um, so anyway, let's take a look at how this one swatches. Okay, so my glitter polish ended up being my A plus this week, so I put in another neutral, and this is another one of the gorgeous power shades from the Super Chic Lacquer Dreamology collection, and this time it's the black one, and this one's called REM, and it's gorgeous, absolutely impeccable formula, one coater. Um, the holographic, I didn't notice it sticking out as well as some of the other ones, um, but I still do absolutely love it, so let's take a look at how it swatches. Okay, so A plus polish time is here. I fell really hard for this polish this week. This is Essie on a silver platter, and I did pick this up at Marshalls a little while ago. It wasn't a super immediate haul, um, but I think it was in the same collection that was it Belugaria was in that collection, and then or it's called hors d'oeuvres, I think, which has kind of the same kind of idea. Basically, it's a highly reflective light gold. Um, shimmering polish is like the base of it and so it's just like really gorgeous how it picks up the light at all different angles and then they've put in these um different size pieces of holographic like mostly blue like a violet blue holographic glitters going throughout it and it is just so cool um it's a big deal for me when i pick a glitter as my a plus polish and i just never ever wanted to take this off it's kind of similar to this polish i have on my nail here in the base of it um but then that that blue glitter present just made it so much extra it's so special so i love this if you spot it do not pass it up orders is kind of i think very similar it just doesn't have that bright violet blue part to it but I really loved it. I think I'm going to go on Trans Design and, or um, 88 Beauty, whichever one has the SE for cheaper, and see about getting that whole collection because I love this one so much. I just have to go check out the rest of the collection. So anyway, super great find. I loved it, and let's take a look.
So that was my whole swatch fest. I hope you guys found something that you liked. I forgot to mention last week, um, I forgot to even talk about it in my swatch fest about the weekly giveaway, but it's just going to be an ongoing thing, guys. So just um, even if I don't talk about it in the video, like it's just sometimes I forget. But you can always just um, enter, or maybe I'll just, if you guys stop telling me that you even want to enter, maybe I'll just pick random people and just send it to you anyway, even if you didn't say you know that you want a mystery grab bag or whatever but just know those of you guys who have been with me for a while just know you can always just tell me in the um in your comments and just let me know if you want to be entered or whatever or if you want a mystery grab bag i still need to go on my store and be and update things um i am going to put that l'oreal collection the one i recently reviewed i'm going to put it on there i really really liked it but i'm still in d stash mode so i still need to get some stuff um I just need to clear out some stuff. So anyway, um, I'm going to put a few different collections up there and I really need to revamp all the grab bags on there. So anyway, and I really, really need to get my hair redone. I've, this is driving me nuts. It's, I know I keep saying that I need to do it, but like it's only pink at the very top now. And once you get down to the bottom, it's like a white, a white orange. <laughs> oh, help me. So anyway, I just have been putting it off because I just didn't want to budget it in. Like I said, when I originally got this hair, it's hard for me to go and pay somebody to color my hair and get it done in a way that's not just easy for me to do it at home. Like how I used to just always color my hair with Sally's products because I don't like spending the money and time on maintaining it even though the quality is so much higher when you go to get it done. I just don't like spending the money on doing it, but I definitely need to do it. Hopefully before you see me next Saturday, I'll have this pink touched up. I mean, luckily for me, I, I was so smart. No, I decided to put it, you know, on the inside. This side's especially bad. I feel like this one got way lighter than the other one. But anyway, enough talk about my hair. I need to get it fixed. So hopefully I'll do it this week. I hope you're having a really great day. I said that before, but I always say that because I really hope it's true. Lots of love from me to you. And um, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Take care, guys. Bye.